Can you get cinematic footage from such a tiny little drone? <laughs> yeah, you can, you can. Yes, you can. If you have it set up right, you can get cinematic footage. Cinematic, what does that mean? It's overused. Basically, you can get smooth looking, beautiful footage out of a Hollywood film with this little guy right here, the DJI Mavic Mini 2. This is what it looks like. It's, um, it's a little monster, and I'm really surprised how well this thing flies. Now, I did a film of all the main settings right here, and I completely forgot, I really did, honestly, to put in the um, settings for the actual gimbal, which we're gonna go into right now. And not only that, I'm gonna show you one, two, three, four, five different um, examples of how I would use all these <laughs> sticks, the wheel, to get cinematic looking footage. So, first things first are the settings. Let's go into, do, 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 where is it, control. Go into control and go, as you can see up here, you're gonna have to press the three buttons at the top, go into control, go down to advanced gimbal settings. This is where you set your settings. Now, I'm gonna tell you straight off the bat, I do not use cine mode, it's just too slow, unless you're inside somewhere and you've got like meters, of just a meter, two meter of space, then sure use cine mode, it's nice and slow. Maybe put on your propeller guards, that might help you. I use sport to get somewhere. So if I get my drone up in the air and I wanna <laughs> fly over somewhere and get to a place where I'm about to film, I will use sport. Or if I'm quite high up, I'll use sport just to show that I'm moving. But, first of all, I use normal mode to film everything. So my pitch speed is at 10. That is the gimbal rotation speed. So that is this. So up and down. Make sure that you do set your um, gimbal allow upward rotation right there. Let's go back. Um, pitch smoothness. So that is like the, the smoothness. When it comes to when it just won't go. It will kind of smooth it out a little bit. I have that at 20. And that works really, really well your speed, so. Um, I have that set to 100 because it annoys me if it's slow. I, I need to be able to move it. I rely on my fingers to get that smoothness. Your smoothness at 10, so it's a little bit of a buffer when you finish that movement. It will kind of smooth it out a little bit. Cine smooth mode, I have at 15, 2, 45, and 8. Like I say, I don't really use that, but those settings are okay for using that mode. Sports mode, I have at 30, 2, 130 and two. Now, using sports mode, everything is very kind of twitchy, so you have to really get the feel in your thumb, in your thumb, and in this finger right here, right here. This one is so important right there. Um, you've just got to get used to it. You've got to practice and practice until you're perfect at it. Um, those are the settings that you need to know. Um, what I'm gonna do now is Put this guy to one side, and I'm gonna show you a few examples, right? Um, I don't need the phone. I don't need the, the actual um, drone. I'm basically gonna show you exactly what I did in every single one of these examples. First one I'm gonna start off is one movement. We're gonna to go to two, 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 and then three movements at the end. One movement, I just basically mean up, forward, back, or um, pitch, and that's it. It's the simplest movement. Make sure it's nice and smooth and calculated. Do not, do not flick your sticks. If I see any stick flickers out there, I'm gonna tell you what I think of you. <laughs> Flicking your sticks basically means getting to an end of a movement and just doing that. Don't do it. This is the worst thing you could possibly, you can fly along, you're flying forward and you just go, you just let go. Um, I said this in one of my earlier films, if you flick your sticks and you're on, a, on an exam here, a license for a drone, he will basically say, no, get out. That's it, because you have no control. You need to control. Um, so like if you're driving a car, do you just let go of the wheel when you're turning? You don't, you need to control, full control. Do not flick your sticks. It is the worst thing you can do if you want smooth motion in your ocean. <laughs> um, same with the wheel, don't let it go. 
if you're moving the wheel, just look at my finger, look at it. I will put it on, I will very slowly move it down, and then I will move it very, very slowly back. And that's it. Same with sticks. I will get the stick and I will very slowly move it left and I will very slowly put it back. Be very soft with the motion. Anyway, let's go to the lake. I'm gonna show you one motion, just going down, very smooth, very cinematic. Let's watch this. So what I recommend you do is grab your controller and practice with me. Left stick down towards your body, nice and slowly. So as you saw, that's a really simple motion. There is no magic in it. I'm just going down and that's it. So, so I'm just pulling this stick, the left stick, and just pulling it down ever so slightly and smoothly, not doing anything else. Um, next one. What did I write? Moving, mountain car, mountain car. Let's go to the mountain car. Now, I'm, how high was I? Maybe 80 meters, freezing as hell, and I am going backwards because I saw this car and I thought it'd be pretty cool. The mountains, the moon up there. Um, so what I was basically doing is using two sticks because there are two movements in this one. Going, using the left stick to go slowly down and using the right stick to go back. So basically both of them are facing down. But I'm doing it very smoothly, very slowly, no flicking, just, just feeling it out. Let's watch this. Right here, I'm about 80 to 100 meters in the air. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling on the left stick towards myself, so we're going down. And on the right stick, I'm also pulling towards myself, so we're going backwards, so down and backwards. Keep it really consistent, really smooth. Right, as you saw, very smooth motion. And did you see how beautiful that picture looked coming from this little guy? Um, next thing we're gonna do is another two movements, but completely different, a lot more advanced, um, still using two movements. Um, I'm gonna be using the right stick and the wheel this time. And this is a church, um, cathedral, I think. So let's check this out. I am basically flying forward and I'm grabbing this wheel, pulling it down very slowly at the beginning, and then at the end, faster and faster and faster. Um, it's a very difficult move, it really is. You've got to really calculate it, you've got to be very careful, be aware of your surroundings, watch out for everything. Um, let's, let's check this out. What I'm doing here is I'm pushing the right stick forward at a very consistent speed. And now I'm starting to move the wheel to the left very, very slowly. The right stick is constant. I'm not moving it faster or slower, but the wheel, I'm starting to turn. And I'm gonna cut off the top of the spires right there, but I'm not worried about that. I'm keeping the actual cathedral in frame. I'm speeding up the left wheel, speeding it up faster and faster, so I keep that cathedral right in the frame. And perfect. Right, there we go. Um, by the way, the first one was in normal. The second one with the mountain car was actually in sport because um, I needed to keep up with that car. Um, that one that you just watched with the cathedral was in normal. This next one with the road is actually in sport. So I'm using sport, but I'm being ever, ever so delicate with the sticks because sport, with my settings, is very twitchy. So you've got to, you've got to just, you've got to be on these guys just like, oof, no, none of this, just, uh, it's going to be very, very smooth. So this is quite a complicated move. It's still two moves. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically flying left. So right stick to the left. And what I'm doing with the left stick is I'm moving it right. So I'm basically doing something like this with the drone, like this. Um, it's not easy to do, especially in sport, but the more you practice it, the better you'll get. Let's check this out. What I'm doing here is the right stick I'm pushing to the left and the left stick I'm pushing to the right so we get this nice circular motion, nice and smooth, keep it very consistent. Right, see that looked really cinematic, 
really beautiful. Um, it could be in a Hollywood film, I hope. Um, now, for the last one, which is very, very, very complicated, you basically have to... What is it? <laughs> I don't know, you gotta do three things at once. Um, <laughs> please don't screenshot that. What the next one is, is one I did in a quarry. And this is free movements. This is, this is very difficult. The right stick, I am going forward very smoothly. Forward, so right stick, forward. Left stick, I'm going down. So I am pulling it down. And this wheel, I am basically looking down at the quarry. And as I'm moving forward and down, I want the camera to pan up. So pitch up to see the landscape. So I am, I'm pitching with this wheel ever so smoothly. And when you get to the end, that is when you want the horizon to just come in. I normally get it on the rule of thirds. So around here, I can see that. Yeah, that's my rule of thirds. So at the end, you have to let go of this wheel. Just, 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 just the end is, oof. It's so, so delicate a movement, so it doesn't do something like, you gotta kinda just let it go down. You'll see on the screen, the pitch on the right hand side. Now that right there, it should be around about here, the pitch going from, I think it's 20 to 90. You've gotta let it just, just, just watch it, just, just, oof. Anyway, let's check this out and see how I did it. Right stick is pushing away from me, so we're going forward. Left stick is pushing down towards me. We are moving down, and the wheel is going to the right. It's going, it's going. I'm slowing the wheel down. I'm slowing the wheel down so we get that horizon in the rule of thirds. The wheel is ever so slightly moving, ever so slightly. Now I'm pulling the left and right stick to the middle so it slows down and breaks. I'm letting go of the wheel very, very slowly and we're breaking smooth. Woo! It's a difficult move. It is a difficult move. You've got to practice and practice and practice. That was shot in normal, by the way, because um, it was a difficult move to pull off. Three things at once is just, it's a, it's a mind wrecker. Um, the actual pitch is right here. Can you see that? It's there, right here. And that is what you've got to look out for. If it's going too fast in a smooth shot, then it's wrong. You've got to, in that ending, just, ooh, you've got to make it really smooth. Um, so with my settings, with those five examples that I showed you of different shots, um, hopefully you can go out and you can train yourself. I'm sure you can. The more you do it, the better you become at it, really. Um, you just have to be very, very smooth. I can't stand people doing this. I don't know, I don't get that. I don't get it, I can do it. I'm old school, I'm like a RC driver. I like used to drive cars and stuff. I'm just, I'm just like this, that's how, that's how I roll. I can't do this thing, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> if you have any questions at all, drop them in the comments below. If you did like my film and it helped you in any way, get better at these beautiful cinematic shots. Um, you know, give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do, because there's a ton more, just a ton, like I said. <laughs> Ton more coming. Catch you on the next one.